Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 9th, and today was another hot and miserably hot and humid and hot and hot day. Um, not used to the Florida weather at all, uh, it's taking me a while, so I'm getting used to it slowly. Um, Bruce is having a hard time with it also. Um, I went and did a little run around today. Um, got a few things around the house done first. Got a breakfast made, all that kind of stuff. Um, chilled out here, got the vacuum cleaner uh, working. It was all jammed up and clogged up and gross. So I got it all tore apart, completely disassembled it, um, cleaned it all up, put it back together. It's working surprisingly well now. Uh, it really is. I then um, played the dog some, took the dog out a little bit here and there, uh, decided to go do some run around looking for a new motorcycle. New to me motorcycle, I should say. Um, Found a couple on Craigslist and stuff, a couple shops, a couple private party things, whatnot, whatever. Drove around, um, ended up finding a few here and there. One of the shops, they're using a bait and switch technique. It really annoyed the hell out of me. They've got a bike that's been up there for weeks now. It's $2,000. It's a nice bike, way nicer than anything else they got in the lot that's in that $3,500 range. So it's clearly their lot leader. People get there like, oh, well, we'll say this one here for 2500 or this one here for two grand. It's much worse shape. This one here for 35 and much worse shape. So definitely, um, they said it's been gone for a few weeks. I said, well, it's still active on, on Craigslist. And he goes, oh, our Craigslist um, kind of falls behind. We get busy here in the shop. And there's like five guys not doing a goddamn thing. So I realized it was a little bit of a bait and switch. And that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. I had a couple of vehicles there, a couple bikes I wouldn't mind maybe having. But they were all just, I don't know, seemed a little off there. So... Said to hell with it and gave up on that. Um, went and looked a couple of dealerships. Um, ran around Daytona Beach area quite a bit. Um, down there at Joe's Crab Shack, which has a giant Eat It Joe's sign out there and a great big fake shark in that. Um, Bruce ran around the boardwalk quite a bit with me. Um, had a great time. A little hot in the sun. Took him over with a little shower rinse off by the um, by the ocean and hosed him down a little bit, cooled him down, which was very nice. He enjoyed that quite a bit. Tried to get him playing like a little kid's like little sprinkler type thing. But there's a grate around it. He wouldn't cross the grate. So it really kind of freaked him out. And he wouldn't go across the grate. So ran around a handful of different bike shops. Went to a BMW dealership. Um, by, um, Triumph. They had some other things there. Daytonas. They had the, um, oh, crap, I the stuff it is. The, um, it don't matter. Really nice, the, um, really nice badass super bikes. Um, Ducatis. I can't think of the name right there. But looked at some of those stuff. Out of my price range. I was looking at that, you know, cheaper range than what they had. So went up going around meeting the lady who has the bike that, um, it was on Craigslist, one of them that I was going to be here at 3 o'clock, so I ended up taking off a little earlier than I should have, not knowing I couldn't be here until 3. So met her, looked the bike. It's not perfect, but it's of uh, the ones I got, I got the best feeling from her and the best feeling of the bike. Like it was like actually with somebody's bike, somebody cared about it. It actually wasn't being lied about. It wasn't bait and switch kind of junk. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. I'm going to sleep on it tonight and then kind of let my mind determine. I've got a couple of shots I've been talking to and they're trying to check some wholesale stuff and whatever and whatnot and haven't had much luck. So I figure I'll hit them again, uh, give them one more chance and then see what happens there. So other than that, um, got back home, uh, swung by, saw Karen um, as she was getting off um, work, hung out with her for a little bit, talked to her for a lot of stuff, had a guy's dog trying to attack my dog down in New Smyrna. But I was like, oh, he's usually really friendly and stuff on crap. And his dog's hair got on. So your dog's getting, obviously, you know, they started to kind of walk away. The dog went to bite at Bruce. And that's like, fuck it, asshole. So that got over it. Uh, one of those things that sucks. But from there, we headed on uh, down. Went and basically came back to the house. Uh, went to get my run in. My new watch, brand new watch. It's annoying as hell. Second one I've got from them was the um, Phoenix 2. And it never did find signal. I never found GPS signal at all. I was, um, I literally was out walking around for like a mile. It was like 18, 20 minutes. I was walking super slow, trying to get signal. Following everybody I signal, I gave up and just went for my run. Um, it tracked it by my foot pod. It wasn't the most accurate, but it did. I'm going to give them a try tomorrow, and if that doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably send them so much back and just order a $500 watch. I hate to do that, but I just I can't live with this. It's absolutely annoying as hell. So who knows? We'll see what happens. So that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.